All right, so welcome back. So this is the analysis of the last game that I played, uh, going from 901 to 908. And that was against Core Memory, who was 857. Should have seemed like I would have beat him pretty easily, seeing that I'm about like 50 points higher than him. But uh, as you guys saw, I was really close. And honestly, I was pretty lucky. So um, let's see how we could have done better. Starting the review. It goes through that. Apparently we did the uh, Rui Lopez opening. Apparently that's how I, what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to kick the, uh, the bishop out and then take with the b7 pawn. After that though, he went for a castle and then that's, that was the first bad move. Moving that, that pawn up. Um, it's saying here that probably the best move would have been um, to just support it on the king side. Um, but I was thinking if I did that, I'd block in my knight, and then I wouldn't be able to put my knight there to attack this pawn. But I guess we're past that, right? Like if we already have a destroyed right side. Anyway, moving it over, move that pawn there. Apparently that wasn't a good move, but then I made an even worse move, which is moving it more forward. Because I was thinking, oh, if I move it forward, then I get to block this square and his knight can't go forward, but I mean, even then, like his, his knight can just go here. So, uh, not really well thought out there. Continuing forward. <clears throat> yep, he takes uh, that piece. I'm, I'm thinking I'll just move my knight out. Better move would have been to move my bishop out. Um, so then that way I can get a piece out. I'm always thinking like, oh, knights before, you know, bishops and, uh, he takes another piece. Moving my queen there was a great move, but then he um, essentially just gets rid of his knight. I take the knight, he moves, and it's saying here that the, a better move would have been to have just taken. Uh, now I'm thinking that, I don't know, this, this thing's probably on drugs or something like that, because wouldn't that just compromise the king's position? That's what I'm thinking, but. It's saying that that's best, I'm guessing because it's defended by the queen, so nothing really to worry about there. Moving on, he gives me the check that I was waiting for. We move the bishop there, and uh, this looks like an inaccuracy, because apparently I'm threatening to win the pawn. But I'm not entirely sure which pawn. Um, oh, and then you castle queen side with all his pieces on the same side as your king. I'm guessing since you've castled queen side, you can actually move these pawns up and attack his already fortified position. Meanwhile, you stay behind like one pawn and you just hope not to die. So, and anyway, he moves his queen there. Good moves. Uh, that's okay of a move. Good move. I wanted to stop any kind of knight movement. And then, uh, yeah, so here I was thinking, oh no, he's just going to take this bishop, you know, like why did I move that guy, he's just going to take this bishop, oh man, like why, why did I do that, but I don't think he took advantage of that, I think he missed it, and he, he left, um, that's when I took the, the knight, he took there, at which point, it's saying, oh, moving your bishop back was probably not the best move, but actually taking with the queen would have been better. I'm not entirely sure why. You know? Just, just take the bishop. Not entirely sure. Anyways, moving on. That's when I decided to take the, uh, the bishop. And at this point, Apparently I have the advantage here. Believe it or not, I have the advantage and I feel, that whole time I felt like I was losing. <clears throat> yeah, then I moved this pawn, compromised the position. Um, again, didn't take advantage of that mistake. Um, he wants to do an exchange. And then another blunder, crazy blunder. Uh, Lily just takes the rook now. Takes the rook, I take back move my king back. And this is when he started thinking, oh, I'm going to checkmate him 
with the two pieces. I'm thinking, well, there's an open file here. I could do that. Check, check. And then here, he just wanted my pieces so bad, man. Like, just give me another check. You know, had he given me another check, there's there's poss there's probably a way he could have won the queen, honestly. Um, maybe had he stacked his his queen onto this square and then pushed it forward, taking this and then forcing my, my king to kind of like have a hard time moving out of the way. I don't know. But that's that's a way of thinking about that. But here, that was his greatest mistake. He, t he takes, he takes the bishop because he just wants more material. And because of that, I take his most prized possession, the king. Yeah, this one was really fun. Um, this one was actually really hard too. So um, I'm gonna say for the next game, I'm going to maybe look at some openings again and uh, figure out a good position for black if we play black again. All right, I'll, next time I'm black, I'll be here with a, with a new opening. All right, thank you for watching and uh, wish me luck on the next one.